for education. And I have to say I'm sorry because I did not think about this. I think this weekend I tried and fell asleep on the floor. First priority is a group that's trying to pass on the word of God from children to parents because that's the way it goes. Child, but since I'm trying to say a prayer about education, I also want to talk about that. People think that teachers talk to children and teach them, but teachers do not. They teach them what they need to know for the world. The parents, God, and people around them teach them and tell them what they need to learn and show them what road they need to walk on. I know that if I never had my grandma or my family to teach me, I don't think I'd ever be able to be speaking up here. Teachers may teach us how to add two plus two or to spell our names correctly, but it takes God and trust and love to make a teacher and make people stand tall, proud, and happy. One thing I've always learned, and one thing I think I'll never forget, is that God will stand by your side. He, he is your father. And everybody in this room is your brother and sister. Because it doesn't matter if Eve had eaten fruit. Everything had been planned out since the beginning. Everything had been planned out. He had made a plan, and he is making us follow that plan. Some people are lost, and they can't see it right now. But everybody will learn the path they have to follow. And now I want to say a prayer for education. So please bow your heads. God, will you show the people the way? Will you teach those younger ones and let them see? Will you show them the way? Will you have the people and teachers teach us what we need to know? But always make sure to stand by our sides and let, and let us learn. Will you keep the people who are teaching everybody today in good health? Will you show the way to us and help us when we are down? Will you teach us what we need to know and teach us the education that we are supposed to learn? Please protect, protect us and watch over the teachers. Yes. And make sure they can show the children what they need to know. Yes, but let us never forget that God is our true teacher. Yes. The teacher yes. who is going to stand over and watch us. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. And next, um, it says there's a prayer for families, which is in Jesus' name. Give him a praise. Oh, how many love Jesus? How many love him? How many love him? Oh, did anybody got a praise for him? Oh, didn't he wake you up this morning? Didn't he put his breath of life in you? That's the reason to praise him this morning. That we walked up in here in our right mind. That we could give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I love him. Do anybody love him? Hallelujah. I think the Lord God is truly good. And it's about family. And uh, I was sitting here thinking about how so much is going on in the world. And it says right here about unity and about respect and relationship and values and uh, even the Bible. Even how uh, God is so good that he gave us a word. That we may teach the young. That we may teach our loved ones, and I was thinking about the woman that was on the news about how her son was out there oh, throwing the rocks and uh, oh. doing different things, and uh, and I, I began to think about that, and, and the scripture, Mark uh, 3 says, in the 25th verse says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And then I began to think about uh, the scriptures that they have put down, uh, Proverbs uh, 22 and 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I'm beginning to think about the mother that 
was out there and she began to hit her son and began to discipline him and different things like that. But the Bible said, train up. Train up. And now they want to take her to court for child abuse. And the devil is a liar because I'm praying for her. Because if we don't step up and begin to discipline our kids and begin to tell them about the word of God and how good God is. And, and even when we go, we're, what's going to happen? The kids is the ones that's going to come up and begin to preach the gospel. Begin to tell them about the goodness of Jesus. And begin to tell them how good God is. Because it's us that we're with our kids. Even though my kids is grown, I still have a reason to pray for the children. I can't stop. The prayer never stops. But it goes on and on and on till there's a change in their life. So the mother began to hit her child. I said to myself, what been? What been? Now people want to call the police for child abuse. But if we stand on the word of God, he said, train up a child. Train him up. But that mother doing that, she saved his life. Because the enemy wanted to destroy our children, the next generation. But I didn't even know God is able. That he had put a word in anybody. That he didn't use anybody to work out the situation. But I thank God for the family. And I thank God that the men, the women need to come back to the house. We need to come back and begin to raise up children that's running wild. Amen. I remember a time when we be in the store uh, uh, with my child. They be right there in the basket, but kids is running everywhere. Everywhere. And then we wonder why they're coming up being snatched and different things. Because we don't have that discipline. And parents are scared today. Because they scared somebody going to call the police on them. I remember I went to court with my son. And he was in there, and he was talking smart. I got him in front of the judge and everybody. You shut your mouth. You have respect for your authorities. I don't care who you is. You have respect for your authorities. And the judge looked at me. He didn't do nothing to me because I stood on the word of God. That's my child. If I don't take care of my child, then the police will take care of him. They will take care of him. So I'm going to pray right now for families that... We begin to, not just our family, but other families. If we in God, we supposed to pray for everybody. I don't care who they are. And I know God is going to bring them back because the enemy want to destroy. He's going to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what he's doing. He's destroying the families, destroying the kids, and the kids destroying the family. But how many know prayer changes things? Father, your precious name, Lord. Oh, Father, we come right now before you. Oh, Father, you know what's going on in the homes, Lord. You know what's going on in the atmosphere. We know it's the enemy, Lord. But, Father, let us stand up as parents, Lord. Let us stand up as the ones that's going to teach and guide, Lord. Oh, Father, all over, go even to the president's house, Lord. Go into different homes, Lord. Begin to bless the families, Lord. Bring back that husband from the streets. Bring back that, that mother from the streets. Bring back that child that's on drugs, Lord. Bring it back. Bring back that child in prison, Lord. Oh, Father, bring them back, Lord. Let somebody tell them about you, Lord. Let somebody give them a word, Lord, that'll change their life, Lord. Oh, Father, let stir us, Lord, that we may become what you have called us to be. Let it be like fire shut up in our bones, Lord. Don't care who or what anybody say, that we begin to speak what that said the Lord and begin to move on behalf of the families. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father, right now, Lord, save them, save them, save them. Bring them out of darkness and set them free. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, come on, give him a praise. This is about Jesus. Give him a praise. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Song. Oh. Another, another uh, change. The Fireball Choir was unable to attend today. Um, and so I said, well, that just is more time for prayer. So God is in control. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm here to pray for the media. My God. 
We are inundated day in and day out with news and Twitter and YouTube and TV and radio and stuff just keeps coming at us. And very little of it is worth taking in. One of the things that we need to do is uh, to remember it's, it's a computer game. It's ego. Garbage in, garbage out. I've said that before and somebody said, oh, that's just stupid. Shrugged my shoulders and I thought to myself, well, you can think it's stupid, but I know what I believe, so I'm going to hold on to that. So garbage in, garbage out. So Brenda was Brenda praying for our children. How much garbage do our children take in yes. Yes. through the music, yes. through the video games, yes. through all these things, Lord? Yes. So we as parents, as seniors in this society, yes. need to make sure that our young people have alternatives, that they yes. have choices. Yes. Praise God I saw this. Uh, taking care of somebody's cats, and this was in their living room, and I asked if I could have it. Uh -huh. uh, Jesus is making a reappearance on TV. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I don't know how many of you have seen these programs that are put on by Roma Downey and Mark um, Burnett. But how exciting it is to see that Christian producers yeah. are being seen yeah. as viable yeah. candidates for programming, which then will have advertising, yeah. which yeah. God willing mirrors the tone yeah. of the program. Right. Right. Yeah. But we're beginning to see these kinds of things now. Yeah. They're beginning to, they're not just beginning now on TV, uh, there are the Christian channels, uh, uh, different ones, but. Some of the secular channels are now beginning to show uh, concern for our young people and for just our sensibilities. Yeah. I, I watch a lot of Hallmark TV. I love that channel because the, the, the little movies and the programs they have on are always uplifting. They're always moral. Uh, even reruns that they show of other programs. If there's a word in there that's not appropriate, it gets bleeped. It gets taken out. We don't need those words. We don't need that language. So today as we, we think about our media and, and what our young people are exposed to, Lord, I just ask that you be with me in prayer. Father, in the, gospel, in the letter to the Philippians, you said, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. God, you've given us direction for the places that our mind is to go. We're to praise you, we're to worship you, and we're to think on the lovely things. So Lord, we just ask as, as our children are growing up, as we and families uh, gather together uh, for family time, that there will be Christian programming, Christian talk, Christian music that will be out there for our young people to listen to. Things in the media for all of us to be strengthened and brought closer to you, Lord. We pray that the decision makers within the media will realize that they can make a profit producing family-friendly programs. Lord, we just ask that you open their minds and their hearts to this possibility. We praise you, Lord, and pray that Christians in the media will find favor yes. and will be Amen. filled with creative ideas that bring yes. kingdom principles yes. and life-giving yes. messages yes. to our public. Yes. And Lord, we pray for the celebrities who do the performing, that they will be provided with repeated opportunities to hear and receive salvation. Lord, through this massive engine, the media. There is great power to bring out your word. And so, Lord, we just pray today that you will have your way in the media with producers.